Hey guys, this is Alpha Rider. Yeah, I'm finally doing the review of my Puma 1000 V4s. Yeah, here they are. Give you. A, I just got back from a ride, so I'm keeping them. I'm keeping it real. Yeah, as you saw on my unboxing a few days ago, I got this from Sport Bike Track Gear, you know, because it was a nice deal. So I just had to get them. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make this review short. Things that I like about it, things that I don't. Uh, what I like about these boots here is, okay, let me get my previous boots to make a small comparison. All right, and put this one to the side. Okay, let me show you, like a little comparison. All right, so yeah, these boots are super hardcore. I mean, these are now, they're not meant for comfort, guys. I mean, if you're looking for a shoe to be comfortable, that you can commute in and, you know, <laughs> be comfortable, this is not it. <laughs> This is for hardcore, you know, riding. I mean, they're, f they're meant to be on the bike. Look, even the pre-shape, you see? They don't stay straight up. You have to push your foot to keep it straight up. They're angled like this because they're supposed to be on a bike, you know? On the bike, they're very comfortable on a sport bike, you know? You don't even, you don't even feel them, honestly. They're very good on the bike. But off the bike, <laughs> they push you like that. Your knee is a little bent when you're off the bike, so you have to you have to push your foot back, you know, to be... I mean, the first time, it, they're gonna feel weird, honestly. It's not like any, it's, it's unlike any, anything you've tried before. At first, they're gonna feel weird, but later, you know, you're gonna be happy. They're very hardcore, very tough shoes. And let me make a small comparison. These are my Alpine Star SMX-5s. As you guys know, these are very good boots, but they're not very protective, you know what I mean? Look, let me compare this, look at this. I'm pushing hard. This is the best I can do. And look at this, see? Look at this, I'm pushing really hard, best I can do. And these are the SMX, this, no, these are the Super Tech, you know? Also very hard, you see? They're very comparable with these. And now these these are SMX5 are very comfortable to walk in. I mean, you see they're standing straight up compared to these. They're very comfortable to walk in, but the protection I mean, once you get to my level of riding, you need to step up your gear. This is great for a beginner rider, but let me show you something. Look. Look at this. You see? There's no ankle protection. Ankle protection is zero. These, on the other hand, look. Ankle protection is very good. Very good on the Super Tech. Now the V4s. You see? Only, only this side is moving. The ankle here, this thing will not let, let your ankle twist whatsoever. You know? Plus, it goes up and down. They will not let you hyperextend. Very good. These two are some of the most hardcore boots on the market. This is made for comfort, not perfect. It will protect you from a small crash, but if your ankle get twisted, this is not gonna save you, but these will absolutely save you. I've crashed twice in these. I've walked away with no problem. And this has even more protection than this. So I'm assuming this will save me too. And plus, what I like about this is, I don't know if you can see in the inside here, these are CE level two. So this is the latest technology in protection, CE level two boots. I mean, they, they just don't look like anything else. You know, anyone so see these on my feet. People don't know Puma makes race boots, but they've been making them for a long time. You know, they've been making them for a long time. And they're very hardcore. I mean, these are up there with the super tech hours, honestly. In my opinion, they even have more protection. The super techs are just more comfortable. You know, I'll guarantee these are very, very protective. 
Supertex very protective and also very comfortable. You know, Com compared to these. I mean, these you can walk in all day. These, <laughs> it would take a lot, some getting used to, you know. It's doable, but they're not as comfortable as the Supertex. So yeah, guys, I mean, honestly, these are very good, very good, you know. I'm giving you an honest opinion. I'm not gonna go through the, you know, features, whatever. You can watch the review as Sport Bike Drag Gear for Track Gear for the features, but I'm just giving you my review. I love these things, you know. And plus they're the about the same weight as the Supertech. You know, not the it matters, you know. I bought them for one thing only, protection. And these are the top of the line, honestly. Alright guys, and this sole also is very grippy. You know, just like the Super Tech soles. Very grippy. Your foot is not coming off the pegs, you know. Even though I had aftermarket pegs on my on my bike, but I don't think it matters because these are grippy soles. You know, the side heel protection is very hard. This is real tough protection. Hardcore. Back heel tough. Front tough. Up heel tough. Here, dude, it, I mean, look, look at the sole. The sole is very hardcore. See, it's more hardcore than the Super Tech. And th this is not bad either, you know. This, this SMX Plus is, SMX X5 is very good all around, but it's just the anchor protection that's lacking, you know. It's lacking the anchor protection. So, yeah, guys, this is my review and... You know, so I'm giving you maybe so you can see what you're investing in. Very good on the bike, you know. I'm absolutely satisfied with these boots, you know. And plus they're CE level 2. So they're very good. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.